my God, we are on our way down south right now. My buddy Mike Shramko just calls me and is like, dude, I just found a huge snakehead. So we're heading down there now. On the way, we see this little Infinity G37S coupe with fishing poles stuck out the sunroof. You know what? That's just a good sign that the fish must be biting. Let's see if we can catch a snakehead, y'all. Hey, are we gonna fish here? Don't, don't talk too loud. They got really good hearing. This is what you need right here. You gotta have that, like a 10 or 12 o or bigger, 50 pound liter. Negative. This is what I brought. 20 pound liter, little J hook on a favorite rod. And you're telling me that this can't be done. It's not happening. <laughs> I mean, we He's like my brother. I just want to hit him with the fishing pole. Let's go, let's go try it. a lot of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose them, these are like candy. That's a toad. Yeah, That's a bufo toad. Yeah, these poisonous. Don't lick your fingers. <laughs> You'll start. Sorry, I should've told you that. Yeah. That's another toad. Yeah, keep digging. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got bullfrogs, spring frogs. I There's a bunch of toads in there. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be stinking hallucinating. Yeah. Try not to do that. That's actually a really cool critter cage you got here. Yeah, you know what? A chum bag. All you do is take a chum bag and it'll fit over this and then just put a bungee cord around it. Now that's what I want. That's the right frog right there. You know what that is? I bet you don't know what that is. That's a Cuban frog, Cubanite frog. Okay, you're right. <laughs> what? I didn't know, most people don't know what that is. All right, you guys. These frogs are actually an invasive frog and I just got him hooked through the lips. But you gotta have polarized sunglasses. These are fat heads. I wear them because I got a fat head and they fit. Good. You got a fat head too. I've got a really fat head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, every time he calls me, something cool happens, but it takes about seven hours longer than expected. So let's see what happens today. Yeah, I see him. Oh, he just ate it. He just grabbed it. Oh my gosh. He just grabbed it. He swam out into the open. He's got it. Got him. Oh! Bigger hook. <laughs> that stinking fish was that big, you goofball. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. You lost it. You're hook. <laughs> absolutely crazy. That was a good one, though. Right under that mat over there. He's right. He's right. Right there next to that. Oh, he's he's spooked. A freaking gar's got him. They go. Let go of him, gar. The, the uh, snake had spooked over to here. Oh, we just ate it. He ate it. I'm just gonna let him take it. Well, hold on. Got him. Got him. Big one. Big one. Dude, 
sick. He's running all over. Oh. Oh. I got a big one on. Yeah, I got a snake head. He ate the, he ate the frog. Yep, on the little hook. Hold on. I feel like I'm, oh, he's, he's rolling. I know it's a good one. Don't lose it. Well, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to lose them. Look at this. Do not lose that one. Well, Do not lose that. That's that. Good. 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 All over it. Hold on, come here. Oh, he's gone. I'm no, just kidding. Yeah, it's not over yet. I know, I know. I know. Come here. He's climbing. Oh. 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 On. Right. Oh. Dude. They've got crazy gill rakers, like crushers in their throat, and they will tear you up. Look at that. Look at that. On. A frog. Oh my god. Look how lucky that hook was though. Dude, look at the hook set. That's luck. That's called perfection is what that's called. That is called the hey. you know that was really luck. Cool? Their teeth are like sharp. Look at them right there. Look at, in the sunlight. They're shining like diamonds. Hold on, he's got my finger in his mouth. Hey. That's all I got for now. We'll see you guys at the house. We're gonna clean that fish. We're gonna cook it. We're gonna see what tastes better. Halibut? or Snakehead. In the meantime, go check out Real Cool Adventures. This is Mike and his daughter, Lauren Shramko. They do crazy cool stuff. I mean, you wanna talk about a father and a daughter? Right there, go check it out. And we will see you at the house. Okay, so check it out, you guys. Yesterday, we had this big old birthday party here for Emma. It was amazing. We were, I mean, literally, I was so busy making cotton candy and cooking out on the dock. I just didn't have time to cook the fish. Now, Sarah and her sister are up somewhere. I've gotta go pick the kids up, but we are starving. So guess what? That's a piece of halibut. This is our snakehead. Look how hard these scales are on this guy. I mean, like, it's unbelievable. These fish are just natural predators and they are full of meat. Very few bones, and just delicious. Look at that. The good old bullseye snake head. I mean, Look at the meat, just gorgeous. Now we're just gonna take our knife and skin this rascal. There you go. Whew, look at that. Underneath, virtually no bones. Mm. Let's just take, um, just like that. Perfect piece of fish. Make sure there's no Bloodline, we're talking just absolute primo fish. And then we'll make some uh, fingers. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't get any whiter than that. Now we'll season them the same. We're just gonna put some uh, Everglades, Everglades fish and a chicken on them. Take our snake head. Flour. Egg. Panko breadcrumbs. Crunchy fish fingers. Let them dry. We've got our oil set at about 330 degrees and we are ready to cook. We'll just set two and two, just like that. Halibut, snakehead, take a bath. If you have that oil set too hot, it will brown the 
panko breadcrumbs too fast, they'll get too dark and hard and your fish won't be cooked right. That's perfect. Watch this. Oh boy. Take these rascals and let them just drain off. There you have it. Well, they both look very good. Man, that halibut is so good. No questions asked. I mean, I'm a fresh fish fanatic. The halibut, you could eat at any store, any restaurant in America and be like, unbelievable. No fishy flavor whatsoever. Mm. There's something about fresh fish. And as you can see, I'm like jittery. It's because I'm so hungry. And I love cocktail sauce. But I want to tell you right in there, I want to tell you thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Thank you for being a part of my channel and a part of my life. But that's all I got for today. Take care, God bless, and we gone.